Ryan Harrison, congratulations on advancing to your fourth quarter final of the year. Uh, today you had 6-3, 6-4 win over Jesse Levine here in, in Newport, uh, where you're already at a, a career high 48 in the rankings. You must be very happy with where your game is at the moment. Absolutely, you know, to break in the top 50 and obviously, uh, you know, win some matches this year. I'm excited to be playing well and hopefully I can continue my run here in Newport and then on the rest of the season. In addition to reaching the semi-finals at Eastbourne on grass, you also had a very competitive match with uh, Novak Djokovic at Wimbledon. What did you take away from that match? Well, obviously as a kid you always dream of playing the number one in the world on center court at Wimbledon. Uh, to have that experience and have that chance to do that this year was uh, a dream come true for me. And hopefully I'll be back in that situation many more years to come. But for this experience and this match alone, it was obviously really exciting. And I was uh, able to take away a lot of great memories from it. And I saw that you had a few of your buddies in the players box on center court. Did you have to brief them on the Wimbledon etiquette before uh, you went out? You know, the, all those guys were players and I had, uh, you know, obviously some family friends and some people that we know from when I, my childhood were there as well. Um, my parents were there. Actually, my mom was there with my sister. Um, and everyone that was there had a pretty good idea of tennis etiquette because they've been around tennis enough. So I was glad to be able to help out and give some of the younger tennis guys the opportunity to come out because I know that I had some of those opportunities when I was their age and hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully they can keep giving it along as they play in those positions as well. Now, I know you're an avid tweeter and I, uh, I read a tweet recently where you say that a TSA agent uh, yeah. broke one of your rackets. What happened there? Yeah, I was getting off a flight uh, coming here actually. It was uh, a few days ago and I watch as the belt loses my bag and it falls in between and it gets crammed because the belt was still spinning and it actually got smashed in between the belt and the uh, and the platform where they were trying to, to take it off and I watched as my racket bag just got smushed in and then one of the rackets on the outside crashed. Initially, were you concerned that maybe all of them were cracked? I was pretty concerned initially, and I went through and checked all of them. And what was even better was how rude the lady was whenever I came up and, and was asking about it. She just told me to go see the Delta Airlines uh, official or whatever it was. And uh, definitely could have been a little better service, but I was glad only one of them cracked. And uh, we're closing in on the Olympics now. How excited are you to play the Olympics and also how excited to return to Wimbledon to play the Olympics? Well, you know, going back to Wimbledon to play the Olympics is going to be obviously an amazing experience. I love the courts there at Wimbledon. love the tradition there in London. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get out there. I can't wait to be a part of the U.S. team and hopefully do my best to represent the country well. Good luck the rest of the week in Newport. Thank you.